Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. In this video, I'm gonna show you a easy and quick peachy eye makeup look. And the palette I'm gonna use today's video is actually a palette that I used in one of my previous videos as well, in which I did more of like a dramatic peachy look, which is the one that you see right here. So for those who really like that look, but wanted to see more like a softer version using the same kind of colors, this one is for you, so I hope you will enjoy this video. So I'm gonna play with this palette by Colourpop and I'm gonna start with this color called Venice Beach. I'm just gonna start blending this all the way in my crease, going from the inner corner to the outer corner and just blending this all the way. So I'm going back in with my brush a few times to really make sure that my crease looks as peachy as possible. And the brush that I'm using is a Sigma E40 brush, which I will link down in the description bar, where I have a special discount code for everything on Sigma Beauty, their website. They have some of my favorite brushes. They're super good quality. So if you're searching for some good brushes, I would definitely recommend that I use them in almost every video. So I'm just gonna continue to blend um, until I'm happy with how the color is looking. You can stop right now, but if you want it to be like even more peachy orange, just add more of the eyeshadow and just gradually build it up. Now I went in with a different brush, which is a little bit more dense, a little bit tinier. So I focused a little bit in the outer V of the eyelid as well, kind of making circular motions with my brush. So I have kind of like a round shape going on in this outer area of my eyelid. And this will just kind of make my eyes appear a little bit more rounded. So I'm just continuing to blend, blend, blend. I feel like blending eyeshadow, it always takes maybe a little bit more time, but the end result will be worth it. Now I'm gonna go in with the color Gone Re Retro and I'm gonna use my finger to apply this all over my eyelid. It's a super pretty color and I actually think these shades will look beautiful on blue eyes, green eyes, brown eyes. I think actually everyone could pull this off. Let me know if you have tried something similar and if you felt like it looked beautiful on your eye color. So after applying the shade uh, all over the eyelid, I went in with um, the same color that I used for the crease and now using a Sigma Beauty E15 brush, which is called the Flat Diviner and using this color all the way underneath the lower lash line. So just kind of pecking on the eyeshadow and after that also like sweeping my brush back and forth. And then I went in with a tiny pencil brush with that same eyeshadow on it and applied even more of the color and blended it out even more. So it looks really nice and soft. Then after doing so, I felt like something was missing. So I went in with this kind of like soft yellow color and popped a little bit of that in the inner corner as well. And then with whatever's left on my brush, I'm also blending it up a little bit lower and a little bit higher. So it blends into that peachy color that I used all over the eyelid. So this way it just really nicely fades into each other. So you can apply as much as you like. You can also make your brush a little bit wet and this will intensify the eyeshadow more. But I felt like um, I actually did apply a little bit extra, as you can see. It really gives you that pop in the inner corner, which I think looks beautiful. Then for my waterline, I think I went in with a pencil from Charlotte Tilbury. It's called the Super Nudes Duo. So it has one side, which I believe a really dark, kind of like charcoal kind of color. And this is the nude side, so I wanted to keep it a little bit more soft and just applying this all the way in my waterline. I feel like using light colors just really brightens up the waterline and makes your eyes always appear a little bit like bigger and brighter. I really like it. Then I'm gonna go in with a lash curler and then I'm going in with one of my favorite mascaras, which is the Benefit Cosmetics Roller Lash Mascara. Such a good mascara. Let me know if you've ever tried it. I feel like it's just really good. And I feel like Benefit really is known for having good mascaras. I don't know, let me know what your favorite Benefit Cosmetics product is. Have you tried the brand? Is there a product that you really like? My favorite products are the Roller Lash Mascara, the Hula Bronzer, and I also really like their 24 hour brow setter. And they also recently launched some really good blushes. So definitely check those out. But yeah, this is the end of the video. Let me know if you like this five minute look more or if you prefer one of the previous videos that I did where I did the more dramatic wing liner peachy look. And yeah, I just hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. This is really helpful for my YouTube channel. And hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys. And if you try, you wouldn't understand it Maybe something's missing inside of you Just a bit of sugar to that heart
maybe 